But I still seem to be having a hard time with leather. Boy, it's really picky what counts as a headshot. Oh, it's the other side of the story. I'll talk with Bobowski, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. Pete brought him in because he gets television. We have to accept that there's going to be changes to get this, get to the small screen. I agree. Our fans are important, but the Silver Shroud's numbers outside of Boston are, well, not ideal. A lot is riding on the success of the pilot. If Mr. Bobowski thinks an English butler could act, could help the show, please hear him out. I love the work you and Vince have done with the Shroud. We wouldn't be shooting this show without you. I know it's tough, but hang in there. Shannon is family. I promise you I will fight for this. This needs to be resolved before Sunday. I'm not canceling my honeymoon again over this. Make sure Bobowski doesn't sneak out before I can grab him. Tina, baby, we needed those new lines yesterday. I don't know how you do things in radio, but we got catering. Bullies, best man, actors, sitting around on their tushes because your most recent delay. We're not writing Shakespeare here. It's TV, right? I know you don't like the new monkey, but Focus, on, but Focus loves him. He's testing better with than Claire in that silly wig. Speaking of which, Claire's agent is not really is really not loving the wig. Really, really not loving it. Claire's flying in Monday, and by then, I think it's best if we nix the wig. Am I right or? What? And Shannon's being a real peach standing in for her while Claire wraps up her film. But it may be best if she's not around when Claire flies in. Will you take care of that? Thanks! On the air. Is this the office key? Three rounds, molt of cocktail, rat poison. Oh, I hope this stuff is dust. Well, if anyone could figure out a good use for it. Bag. Why is there mongrel dog meat in here when this place has been locked? Producer's terminal. Oh, I tried stalling her, but things are spiraling over here. Her agent was having dinner with Maxwell over at the Derby. Not good. Claire's still on board. She loves the script. She especially loves the outfit. You got the shots of that, right? Yowza! So I don't care what's going on over there. We need to sign her before we lose her to Wiseman's or someone else. We looked into that Hopkins, Hopkins contract. It's ironclad. The only way she's out is if she walks. Her partner signed over his rights to Hubris, but she still has hers. If she even thinks of going to a lawyer, you got to work your magic, Babu. Imagine if we needed her approval. It has come to my attention you've hired Claire Red Redell. And roll the role of Mistress Mystery for the show. This is unacceptable. Mistress Mystery has an iconic look. She must be a brunette. Mr. Mystery is a strong female protagonist, not some damsel in distress. Santa Rivers has voiced MOM for years and is believed beloved in the Shroud and every other radio drama she's been part of. I know we've had our differences, but this affects more than the Silver Shroud. The, mi the Mistress of Mystery and the Unstoppable are big brains. We absolutely must talk before something something something. Vivi got a hold of me before she left. I got the photos of Claire and she's dynamite. Love the alternations in the costume. It still feels like the comic but more believable. So I'll back you there. 
but I'm with Vivi. MOM's a brunette, period, and her voice needs to be strong. Claire's voice isn't. Can we have Shannon dub over Claire's in post? That's the word, right? That would be the best of both worlds. Effective immediately, I quit. Tina has quit. You can explain to Petey how you lost the lead writer for the Silver Shroud. And after everything Shannon has put up with, if you want to fire her, do it yourself. Manticore has been waiting to hire me for years. Looks like you lost... Your loss is their gain. Death becomes you. Uh, I was expecting to be an audio tape. Died with your alcohol. Wow, I saw so a delayed reaction on land. Oh my god. Oh. Hey, good news. I can survive being punched because of this dense oven armor. Run. That. Man, I need to get better at my back. If you want me dead too, would you stop? There we go, jeez. Probably all the blood. Neat. Dora, black vest, grognut costume. I'll take it. Nice. Increases the wearer's strength and melee damage. Black rim glasses. Lots of rat poison. Your office was in the bathroom? That's not a good way to treat your star. Sweet. What's this? Director's notes. Dave's been spending a ton of time over. Da, 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 da. We can smell the alcohol on him, but he's animated in the original. Calls the place his personal castle, and he's had the metal statues remind him of Golden Script. At first, I was okay with it. I mean, Battle Mage has been playing the game. Da, 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 da. Dave's getting obsessed with the role. He comes to the set in full armor and demands we address him by the character's name. I've tried having his agent call him out. We'll find out he's cut off with electricity in his home. Not sure. You hired a method actor who's gone too far. Hey, someone please hide the new sword to him before the next shoot. I told Dave time and time again. Uh, bullshit. The fact he brought a real sword instead is pretty much the opposite of what I asked for. He nearly sliced off Bob's ear whipping that thing around and I'm afraid if he kills the... Kills him, the insurance is going to cover it. On top of that, all the screaming he does in that fake language is starting to grate on everyone. We're going to one more sound like this, and I'm going to write his character off with the most screaming death imaginable. When Dave found out the script, 
But the script changes, he just about lost it, kept saying his nonsense about his new levitation spell and went out to the roof to prove he could fly. They're trying to talk him off the ledge right now, but I feel most of us would be okay if he went ahead and jumped. The problem is he's wearing valuable set properties, so if he can't get that image, I told Bob and da da Somehow Dave made it to the other ledge. He jumped onto one of his so-called golems and climbed up. They said Bob went after him, but he didn't make it across. Now we're missing two actors and a whole bunch of props. I don't know what's gonna, how I'm going to explain this to the suits. No one knows where Dave went, but I'd be willing to bet he's holed up in an imaginary castle. Nice. Grognar, the Barbarian. The Silver Shroud has been activated. Ooh. Oh, it's a prop gun. So what does the Silver Shroud look like? Dun, dun, dun. Where is those glass? Nice. Look at all the pluses that it gives. Increased the wearer's strength and melee damage. We'll roll with this for now just because. Actually, wasn't there a computer right over here? Pack of Sarah's no, that's just a TV. Audio controls. That's their cigarette. So, to the roof. Doesn't seem like a great place to linger, Blue. No, it doesn't. Bum, 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 bum. Jenny's diary. How on earth did Dave make that jump? Bob didn't even make it to the statue, and he used to be a long jumper in high school. I've stacked the boxes as high as I could, and it still seems impossible. My latest theory is that he jumped off the streetlight. We just didn't see it from where we were standing. But some of the staff is starting to wonder if he really is a battle mage. That's obviously bullshit, and I refuse to believe it on general principle. Besides, if Dave really did know how to levitate, he wouldn't have needed the ladder to climb to the other ledge. Not sure what he was doing over there, but he shouted some nonsense about conjuring a key. Can't be sure, but I think I saw him fish something out of a little duffel bag. Find a way to the ledge. Gonna need uh, this flashlight to see. So I need to get over there, huh?
Is there a way up there? There's... I see a escape ladder. Alright, Piper. Is there any way... I guess I have no choice but to jump down right now. It's not like there's a climbing mechanic in this game. Alright, so let's head up this way and see what we got. We got a gun turn. How we get up there? Oh, man. Doosh, doosh. Oh, bloody! Oh, the man frying pan. Holy shit! Oh, it's on. Doing some animations I've never seen before there. Job, Piper. How much you got left in you? Throne room key notes on throne room. Playing games with me, huh?
boy, it's dark. You stay down. A <coughs> grey ghost. Zombies down here. Whoa, sir. So what we got in here? Go to first person so I can see better. Fortifying iron helmet. Oh, that's the Skyrim helmet. Excellent. I mean, I get why it's called a throne room. What does the note say? I li I haste hidden the spare key to my throne room on the rooftop ramparts where my soul. La 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 la. It is vital that I did not disturb while well, well, my chamber is emptying the bottle and emptying my body and mind allows me to focus and replenish my magic reserve. Potions from the next way, the version that so many people, peasants, seek to enter my private sanctuary, but as told the others, it, if nature beckons, there are plenty of castles across the road where they can relieve themselves. So, oh, what was the point of all this? Just the alcohol? Uh, yes, well, that was a waste of time. Extremely Silent Hill. I can carry something if you need me to. <laughs> Okie dokie. So we're relatively close to Nick, so we'll head that way. Other world is not showing up. Ooh, I'm in water. Nasty. What does this say? Danger. Common ahead. Blue. We're walking right into Boston Commons. People don't come back from here. Discovered Boston Common. 
crossbar. Yeah, we'll explore it. Okay, that was freaky. So, I uh, probably. What you got for me? Yep. Look alive. <laughs> nice. Hmm? Put your old outfit on because it kind of fits with this theme that we got going on here. The investigators on the ch case. This guy holding something? Postman hat. Oh! I assume that's a Cheers reference. So, have a nice time. I haven't had a good time. My black backpack is bloody as all hell. We are the Silver Shroud until I can craft some of the uh, armor that I want, the mods. Employees only. Got anything? Oh. No way I can pick this. Who lit that candle? Who lit any of these candles? Well, I guess that's it for this place, huh? Just a Cheers reference? What? Where? Oh, the thing in the lake. Swan. Is he coming at us? No. I think he's going after Piper. Going for it. Oh, he can come up here. The hell is that? Pull ass. Boy, I hate enemies that can stun lock you.
I don't know where Piper ran off to. I need a stronger gun. Minigun! There we go. Oh, the game crashed. The game crashed. Why? Man, I hope it auto saved. We got auto on this end. Refresh it. Why you do this game? Oh, good. Okay, it auto saved right there. Perfect. Why is this muted? That is super perfect. I'm gonna have to kill this damn thing. I tell you what. I'm gonna keep playing until dinner's done, which will be a couple minutes. Come on. I would very much like to Is Struggle of this world merely a pleasant game for you? Do you long for a more brutal take on life live post apocalypse? If the answer is yes and yes, then whatever that mode was, survival. Okie dokie. So Let's try this again. This time with a motherfucking minigun. 